Hey Gemini, welcome to your general weekly reading for January 10th through the 16th for anyone with a gem in their chart. If you're returning, hi, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Be sure to check out your playlist at the end of this video, okay? You guys can find your weekly readings there. I do monthly shadow work readings every full moon, okay? And also there is a timeless playlist where I'm doing a series working with the major arcana to heal our inner child, okay? Um, that's what my channel focuses on. So for those of you that are new, you've been warned, okay? Um, if this reading resonates, please feel free to like the video, comment down below. It helps my channel so much. I love hearing from you guys and it also will help the other Geminis find the message, okay? So with that said, let's see what's going to come out for your general theme of this week, okay? For Gemini. Okay, the Knight of Wands in the reverse with the Queen of Wands. So this is really interesting. I'm going to pull one more. Hold on. I just want to get three. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Yep. So this looks like you may be changing up uh, something or someone you're passionate about. Um, moving on. Closure even. Okay. This was you heading somewhere in a certain direction. Could have been towards a fire sign. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but discovering that it wasn't for you. Okay. And this is literally kind of like the grass is greener over here, okay? But it feels very, um, you're sure, okay? Now we do have this water energy showing up of the Queen of Cups in the reverse with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces, okay? But I'm seeing this more as um, detachment than a codependency, although that could have been a theme in the past, okay? The King of Wands, wow, the King of Wands in the reverse just like popped out of my deck. They were like, tell them, okay? So more fire energy showing up, um, you learned a hard lesson in love, okay? A really hard lesson in love in the past, okay? It's kind of like the sense of like you putting yourself out there again, Gemini, okay? Something you were sure about that was for you, okay? And if this isn't a relationship, this is your overall purpose, your overall direction in life, okay? Your creativity. You're on a new path and that's okay because I feel like... Um, even though the path you were on was stable and was okay, literally something's been, it's like bigger and better. That's what I'm getting, okay? And look at that. Queen of Wands in the reverse, clarifying the Queen of Cups in the reverse. There's no more love, passion, fulfillment, maybe excitement, chemistry, attraction to a certain situation anymore from the past. The Page of Wands in the reverse popped out, yeah, so... We're not pursuing this outlet anymore. Let's clarify the Queen of Wands. The Tower Scorpio energy with the Four of Cups in the reverse. Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy coming out here, okay? There was a major, major change here that could have caused you um, to really come out of a comfort zone, okay? Come out of a bubble. Come out of closing yourself off, okay, from possibly opportunities, right? Because you were committed already, okay? Tell me more. That's a lot. Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, there was just... Uh, there's a little bit of confusion, okay, about how you're going to make this happen. It's already been established, a path that's been highlighted for you, okay? We're um, past the page of wands where we're exploring, okay? Now we're starting to walk down the path, but it is in darkness, okay? We're setting intentions. We know kind of what we're looking for, okay? Um, general energy sh showing up, our passion, stability, lots of love, emotion, okay? Again, lots of passion as well here, but there's still some confusion, okay? How it's gonna happen, the emperor in the reverse. Yeah. There's still some confusion if uh, maybe on exactly what you want, what you are attracted to. For some of you um, that are resonating with the purpose or the career side of this, okay, you having to admit that you don't know everything, there's still more to be learned, okay? 
but you're willing to do that because you're so passionate about your new goal. It's like you're at, you're being asked to be vulnerable a little bit. Okay. Six of swords, move on to a new chapter. Yeah, absolutely. It looks new. It's okay to not know exactly what to do or what things look like, right? So we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse here. Okay, let's clarify this. Oh, wow. The Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, you were turning away from a very deep connection. Okay, there was a lot of love there. I feel like it's connected to this Queen of Cups energy that you're leaving behind. Okay, it was a very deep bond. Okay, spiritual soulmate type of a connection. Strength in the reverse. Could have been with a Leo. Okay, but it also um, mirrored your shadow. Okay, mirrored your fear, what you keep deep down, uh, possibly your triggers, your insecurities, you're being called to grow, okay? This could also be saying that there is no growth left, right? For your recent past, we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, the Two of Cups in the reverse, and the High Priestess, Pisces energy showing up here. You saw the truth. You saw the situation for what it was. You could have offered a cup of love or an apology to someone or someone came towards you. Okay, it could have been a Pisces to be specific. But I feel it was rejected because the Two of Cups is here in the reverse. Okay, the Knight of Swords, the Emperor in the reverse and the Two of Pentacles try to pop out here. You were trying to hold forth some stability going forward, not full, feeling fully confident in what you're chasing, okay, is the energy of the past. Let me switch here. Let's clarify this high priestess because there's an inner knowing, right? The high priestess is all about seeing um, beneath the surface, okay, accepting duality, right? Ten of Wands. Here's what you had to accept. Something required too much, okay? Too much of a burden, too much of a stress. It wasn't in alignment for you, okay? It could have felt um, difficult all the time, okay? Page of Wands in the reverse and the King of Coins. You could have decided that someone was better off as a friend or as a co-worker than as a love interest, okay? Let me clarify this Two of Cups in the reverse. Temperance, the magician, your energy there, Gemini. Queen of Cups, Five of Cups in the reverse here. Yeah, somebody is just holding on to something from the past. They don't want to let go. There's a lot of love. They're trying everything. They feel this is very um, divinely guided, okay? But what is actually divinely guided is the spiritual growth, the transition, okay? The fact that you're able to see something for what it is. Yes, absolutely. This is a very spiritual connection, okay? Or a spiritual step in your life, right? You had to work at this place to gain the skills, to gain the knowledge, to meet the people you did, to make the resources, the connections, whatever that meant, okay? Personal growth, learn lessons, okay? This was all manifested, Gemini, by you, by your higher self, okay? This is like soul contract stuff, okay? It's nothing you did wrong, okay? There's no failure here. There's just lessons, okay? How to release pain from the past so you can move on. Let's check in with your current energy here. Okay. King of Wands. Okay, Gem. See, that's what I'm saying. There's definitely, like, you went through something, you lost something, but you have an opportunity now to embrace your best self, okay? You could be coming off very attractive to someone. You could be very attracted to someone. You could be thinking about starting your own business, investing in yourself, okay? Whatever that means. More fire energy coming out with Aries Leo Sag. The Four of Swords, there's your energy with the King of Swords as well, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Speak the truth, please, about what you want, about what you've learned, okay? Give yourself an honest um almost like feedback conversation okay the king of swords is very clear okay very clear cut speaks the truth it's very fair it comes in as like a judge right like someone in authority 
okay? Make the choice here, what you want. Tell me more about this Four of Swords. This is just about resting right now, right? Reflecting, learning the lessons. The Hierophant just flew out. Taurus energy. <laughs> what you want to commit to, okay? This has a lot to do with your spiritual growth as long as here in the 3D what you're going to commit to, okay? Whether that's through a person um, commitment or whether that's through purpose, okay? Apply it as it resonates. The Empress and the Ace of Cups. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. You are trying to learn here, okay, how to commit to yourself. The Ace of Cups in reverse means that your own cup is spilled over, Gemini, okay? I'm sure I'm not telling you anything that you don't know. You have a lot of love to give, a lot of commitment, loyalty, okay? A lot of power. There's so much power that can be taken advantage of that you can fill this cup up with. Tell me about the King of Wands. What is Gemini showing up so passionate about? The Ace of Wands. There might be new love. The Page of Cups. Look at this. This is either, I'm telling you, new something that is going to make you really fucking happy and excited. New job offer, new purpose in life, new love offer, whatever this means. You're feeling connected from your soul. You're excited to have a new path, something to look forward to again, okay? Let's check in with the energy surrounding you. What's going on around Gemini? The Page of Wands in the reverse. The Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Leo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There's a withdrawal of love, absolutely, okay? It's really interesting because we had both the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Uh, talking, clarifying the Queen of Cups in the reverse, right? It was talking about um, that withdrawal of love, passion. There's nothing here for me anymore, okay? I feel it's the same situation. Someone is evaluating what makes them happy as well, okay? Fulfillment. Let me, tell me about this Ten of Pentacles, The Queen of Coins in the reverse, the Five of Coins in the reverse, the Knight of Cups in the reverse. There's no stability. There's no love here. And we're healing from it, okay? We're healing from, or this person is healing from, feeling left out in the cold, okay? Alone, right? So rest assured, okay? Especially if you're concerned about the other person's uh, heart, right? Or if you're concerned about how will this business, and I'm not being like funny, like how will this business survive without me, right? You could feel a lot of pressure. We saw the 10 of wands in your past. Everything relies on you. It's relying on your shoulders, okay? Know that this is all divinely guided. This is recovering, okay? Yeah, 10 of swords in the reverse. There's an acceptance here of the ending, okay? Let's pull some advice for you. Advice for Gemini, please, going forward this week. Cards are flying. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. The Two of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. You are learning, okay, that you're on a new path. It looks very, very, very different than you had anticipated than you had set yourself up for right the nine of pentacles we're almost at the ten right that state of completion okay the ten of pentacles is what's showing up that's being withdrawn from you that's surrounding you okay this is all connected my loves okay spirit sees you they know that you set yourself up you're committed for life you were ready you thought you would be content forever it's okay to forgive yourself that you're not you're learning the page of pentacles is the student card in tarot, okay? That can symbolize going back to school, okay? Some of you may be completely changing um, careers here, okay? And going back to school at a late time or in a completely different area after having a degree, okay? The two of wands is decisions. It's making the choice. And it definitely, like I said, looks different than you had anticipated, but this is your advice. Give yourself permission to learn, okay, that there are other options, okay, other fish in the sea. The seven of coins in the reverse. Yeah, don't get stuck in a, uh, analysis paralysis mode, okay? When you make a decision, commit to it. 
the five of swords that's the indecisive energy and the eight of swords yeah that's where your confusion stems from that's where the darkness stems from it's that stagnant energy okay so that's what i'm seeing for you this week gemini i will pull um a divine feminine oracle card along with a romance angel oracle card for those of you that are interested and again if this reading resonated please 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 like it comment down below subscribe if you'd like a personal reading you can find my email in the description box i do offer those as well as shadow work coaching sessions okay so for the divine feminine we have the mystic of divine love love is divine and i am nothing except love gemini don't forget it you're symbolized by the lovers an engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. There you go. That was the freaking overall first message here. Hello. <laughs> Knight of Wands in the reverse to the Queen of Wands. Okay. You're going to reach levels that you wouldn't have been able to had you stuck on the path you were on. Okay. Give yourself some grace. Um, but that's what I see for you. I hope that you guys have a great week and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.